How's it going everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Aaron Ryan back with you once again. Alright, so I hope everybody is doing good and doing well. I recently got asked on YouTube if I could make a video, a step-by-step -step guide to activate star senders, supporters and monetization on Facebook gaming. So I'm going to go over that for you. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. Okay, first of all, so you have your Facebook gaming page anyway, so... The next step you have to uh, broadcast within four hours in 14 days so that's the first step you need to do four hours streaming within 14 days broadcast as well on two days in the last 14 days as well and you need to have at least 100 followers as well on your page now once you have 100 followers and you've done all the errors that you need to do like four errors in 14 days and two days in the last 14 days as well you also need to comply to community standards as well so make sure you're not playing any copyrighted music on your streams as well and once you do all that as well when you go into your creator dashboard as well you'll see a couple of things in your creator dashboard and you'll also see the amount of things that you completed so if you could be completed all of the steps you'll be able to uh, apply them for the level up program and once you apply for the level up program as well, you just wait a couple of days or something and you will get an email then from Facebook saying, uh, congratulations, you've now um, reached the uh, level up program. Um, once you're in the level up program, then uh, people can send you stars then. And once you uh, have the stars on your gaming page, you'll also be able to go into Creator Studio and set up the stars as well so how you're going to get paid you can either get paid through paypal or you can get paid through your bank as well or request i'd actually recommend you actually do it through your bank as well because paypal does have a couple of charges as well so uh, the second you do activate level of program you will get that up that little um pop up on the screen uh, where you can type in your uh, bank details as well don't don't worry it's completely safe and um, once you set up all that your bank details um etc as well so the way payment works then as well um facebook will only pay you once you reach a threshold of 100 dollars, which is 10,000 stars and once you reach uh, the threshold which is 100 dollars, and facebook will pay you then 30 days after that now another thing in regards to facebook gaming is partnership now partnership is a completely different story as well um, in order to become a Facebook partner, there's a lot more involved. And uh, for example, you need to have at least 3,000 engaged followers in your stream, okay? And you need to earn at least $2,000 or 200,000 stars in a month. Then you can become a Facebook partner. And the benefits of becoming a partner on Facebook gaming as well, it allows you to run ads on your streams as well. And that's how you can earn revenue as well. So as you can see, like the level up program is just small little things like broadcast four errors in 14 days, broadcast on two days in the last 14 days and just have 100 followers. And then you have the uh, level up program. See, with a Facebook partner, you need, you need a lot of people in your stream. You need a lot of people talking in your streams. You need to earn a lot of stars in a month. Like as it says here, 200,000 stars. So um, if you get all that, well, you will be able to apply for partnership. But over on the purple side, over on Twitch as well, like Twitch makes it, makes it a bit easier. See, to become a Twitch partner, you need all you need to do is just uh, broadcast for 25 hours on 12 different days. And all you need is 75 viewers in a month. That's all you need. Me, what I'm doing now at the moment is I am on Facebook and Twitch now at the moment. Um, I'm very close to being affiliate on uh, Twitch and partnership. I don't know, like I'm getting a couple of people in my uh, Twitch streams now lately. But I was told it's very, very hard to grow on Twitch. So uh, you got to put in a lot of work. So yeah, what I'd recommend then is uh, you can just create up a stream and broadcast at least maybe four hour, do it like a four hour one off stream there and uh, just do a stream every day. Then you can do like your start off, do four hours. And then maybe tomorrow then do two hours the following day as well do two hours again and get as many many followers as you can you know get all your friends to um share out your stream get all people then to like the stream share the stream and get more followers and at least then when you have 100 followers then you'll be able to apply them for that level up program on facebook gaming then also as well to unlock supporters on your page as well you must have at least 10,000 followers or 250 returning viewers to your stream as well and also you need to have at least 50,000 post engagements and 180,000 watch minutes within the last 60 days so by having the supporter button unlocked people can support you for five dollars or five euro per month as well another uh, tip as well don't be too stressed out about it like uh, a lot of people are saying oh, i've only have like 200 followers 
and someone else has 2,000 followers, followers don't mean a thing. Like, as long as you have a couple of people interacting on your stream, like, I say this a lot to a lot of people. If you have, say, I don't know, 250 followers, and someone else has 250,000 followers, like, a lot of people think the more followers, the better the page. Not really, not really, because... If you have, say, 250 followers and 12 people are in your stream chatting away and talking away, that's even good. Whereas you could have like 250,000 followers and hardly anyone is in your stream. A lot of these pages have a lot of things like called like fake likes or fake bots that are doing all these things. And it, it kind of damages your page more. And especially doing something like uh, follow for follow or something like that, that can do a lot of damage to your page in the long run. Now, I will admit I've done it before and I saw the results, which was not good because a lot of people that were doing follow for follow for me, I followed them and they followed me. And then within, I don't know, five days, they unfollowed me, you know, so. Plus, you're also going to get uh, stuck with something on Facebook where you followed a lot of pages here and you're going to see a lot of these kind of pages in your uh, news feed as well. And you're not seeing the more important things, you know, you're going to see all these pages that you followed. And when you're following them and they're following you, they're not going to take the time out and go into your stream and engage with you, you know, which is the most important thing. You need people to be in your stream, talking to you in your stream as well, staying in your stream for at least five minutes or so. And yeah, that's the most important thing. You don't need someone to follow your page and never go into your stream. So that is a dangerous road to go down. So all you do really just uh, pick what games you like, you know, play what you like. Don't play what people say to play, you know, play something you're very comfortable with as well. Like me, I like playing Mario games, Sonic games, Mario ROM hacks as well. Um, I like Super Nintendo stuff, Sega Mega Drive stuff as well, stuff I grew up playing, you know, so I know I'm very good. I don't play a game that you're not good at as well because someone don't want to see, people don't want to see you die and die and die over and over and over and again in the game. It's like going to a cinema, watching a movie, and you're seeing the same thing over and over. You're going to walk out. So pick games you like. Pick games you're very comfortable with, that you're familiar with. Set up a schedule as well, saying, okay, I'll be on uh, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, or something at 5 p.m. or something. Put that on your page so your followers will know when you're live as well. Then uh, sit back, relax, enjoy the game, um, enjoy the people that come into you. Always uh, appreciate them as well. Say hello to them because at the end of the day, without your followers, without your viewers in the stream, what I should say, without your viewers in the stream, you'll be nothing without them. So uh, appreciate everyone that comes into you. Always say hello to them as well. And uh, just be nice to them as well. If someone's being nasty, all you got to do is either ignore them or you can hit that ban button. I love that ban button, by the way. But you're going to get a lot of trolls as well. So the best thing is just either either ignore them or you can ban them. But uh, yeah, I wish you the best of luck. Anyone else that's uh, just starting out on Facebook gaming as well, the best of luck to you. Just remember, it is a hard road to go down. So uh, it does take a lot of work involved. And uh, as I say, don't stress yourself out too much. It's just, it's only games. It's only games. If you're not going to get many followers, don't worry about it. Everything will grow in time, you know. Okay, so guys, um, I do hope this video helped you out as well. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe as well. And uh, thank you for subscribing as well if you've already done so. Thank you for liking the video as well and taking the time out of the day to watch the video as well. Okay, so uh, talk to you later on, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.